All right, we are back here on a beautiful Monday afternoon. Suddenly today, the rain does not stop us. Well, it rained this morning, but we are here watching some softball and baseball as the Comets take on the Princeton Tigers. And I think the lady Comets over there are taking on the Prince of Tigers as well. I'm videoing. The top seated, top ranked Comets taking on the Princeton Tigers. Who's up? Yeah, this one's gonna be. Yeah, we have a runner already on on the board. There we got a runner on board for we got foul. Sending or ready, and this game has just got started here from, from Sterling. Oh, it's a busy day in this area as the Pitch, and it's going to be a foul ball. It looks like the Comets are up to bat. Base hit. Newman's up one to nothing here in this matchup against Princeton. I know on this team, Newman has a commit that's going to Notre Dame next season. They'll be playing college up at the University of Notre Dame for the Fighting Irish as well. It hit. Gonna be a, gonna be a foul. Well, technically it's a foul, but they're gonna call it a foul. But that ball was going past the pitcher's box. But it looks like they're gonna have a talk. I believe a little time, a little timeout. Oh, it's gonna be a pitcher. Running a stage for. They're gonna pull out another runner, maybe. Catcher. Sometimes they'll have people run for. Really good team here for Newman. So here's a little background on this Newman team, top ranked team here. And it's gonna be a hit and a, and a scored runner there. I 
as it'll make this game two to nothing already in the first. last year from Newman to ever go to the state tournament. As we mentioned here in the Rock River Valley, there's three state trophies, two state trophies. A second place finish in 2008 by Rock Falls, and then we have technically three, one in 2019 over in Dixon, where they keep the first ones from out of Dixon. And then last year the Comets as well had a historic run, but hopefully for Newman this year they can make it a back-to-back to, back to the state tournament this year. They can go back-to-back back and make it for the second straight time in their school's history. So half of their school's history all their sports have played in the state tournament. As I mentioned, last year was a big year for Newman Athletics. In volleyball, they went to the state tournament in 1A, so in 1A, and in baseball as well, they went as well in 1A as well, so great year. I would say it was a great year. I believe almost half of Newman's teams all have state trophies. They have five and five state titles of football, and I believe two state runner-ups in football as well. The blue machine tradition as well. They have five trophies since 1990, and I believe it's years in. 90, 2004, 2010, 2013, 2019. That's going to be a walk. Number 16, uh, I believe it's Isaiah Williams for for Newman. They sit.
all three in one strike. is a big hit there by Laporte. Laporte. So, been hearing a lot about Laporte and Princeton. He's been, he's already gotten D1 offer by the University of Notre Dame, by Notre Dame, not Notre Dame, but Northwestern. Not at the Big Ten Conference. He's, I believe, visited in Illinois. I think Iowa State. That's going to be a foul. That's it, hot hit us. same time. watch a baseball or softball game. And a foul. See ya. Garrett Mothnick, number one. What's the, what's the number that 
one's going to another dam.
Fort Percy runner. Seven and one in the bottom third. So I'm doing free sporting events on the same day. So we we were at New Men watching Princeton. So now we go down the road to Gardner to see what's going on at the Sterling Eastland game right now. So we'll be back and enjoy both games as well. All right. It is the third inning. Sterling leads two to nothing over Eastland. Also, it's senior night for the Golden Warriors. So today they have honored their seniors, senior class of 2024. And currently going on right now, it's the third ending as it looks like they got well, the younger, the younger group warming up over there and we just we just got here from Newman can't see what's what the score is going to look like as they're warming yeah. some warming up Sterling is Garrett Paulson. busy night in Sterling or in the area probably because you got Rock Falls playing Winnebago I believe tonight home for baseball and then 
over across the river. We got Newman playing at home. They're taking on um, Princeton. And Sterling playing at home as well down the road. Hit. And an out. They're in a great play. Right up to bat for Sterling as we take off our coverage or second coverage. Our bonus, I was gonna say, Drew Nettleton. Well, it looks like we got the heartbreak kid out here. Because he was playing Shawn Michaels' music. Trying to think he's the heartbreak kid. If you guys don't know what I'm referencing, what the heartbreak kid is, that is Shawn Michaels' ego that they call him. Former WWE first Grand Slam champion of WWE. Uh, former Intercontinental European Tag Team and also WWE Champion and also a WWE Hall of Famer, Shawn Michaels. Part of the member of the team members of the Midnight of the Rockers, I think was the team name and a member of the Click a group. A little friend group. And also a member of D Generation X. Some of you all that watch WWE. is kind of like they're running the WWE right now they 
think Shawn Michaels runs NXT and Triple H runs the main roster. We got Stealing Basin. We got four, four on the board already in this game between Eastland and Sterling. Stolen, and it's gonna be looking at to be bobbing up and already. It's gonna be a Yeah, pitching change. For a point five. Heartbreak kid. And that and steal second. And it's going to be a ball. Curly up the bat, number eight, Tatum Allen. Great play there. Full count. 
two out already. Bryce Hartman. And a stolen there by Allen. Swing and a hit. Gonna be an out. Up to bat for Eastland is Braden Jackson. Strike out there for Paulson. Number three, Tanner Stern. Out to bat for Eastland. Tanner Stern for the Cougars. Hit it out. Bird. Pitch and strike. All right. Up to bat, Mason Smithy. Yeah, Paulson's gonna steal second. Hit there and it's gonna be 
all fair. And Smithy is going to have a double. Now batting number 12, Drew Nettleton. Up Eastland dugout. Braden Birdley. One to eight right now. Eastland already on the board. One to eight. Leading off for the Cougars, number nine, Brady Jackson. Great Jackson leading off for Eastland. Doing it point five. Strike. So with a pigeon change, Penny in for Paulson. It's a, it's a ball. The ball. Strike, strike two. Count is two, two. Strike three already. Number three, Tanner Stern. Off the bat, Tanner Stern for Eastland. Swing and it's going to be out at first. 
That's going to be... Now we're going to have two outs and... Number 12, Cameron Huber. Up to the bat for Eastland, number 12, Cameron Huber. Gonna retire the ending. Trevor Jansen and for Eastland. And leading off for Sterling is Lincoln Davis. Ryback team, former WWE superstar. Fence. It didn't hit me. We're behind fence. Swing and a foul. I'm hoping to see a home run in this game, but. Strike. Number twenty-five, James Lee. Up the bat is James Lee. Number 11, Rowan Workman. Up the bat is number 11, Rowan Workman.
Seven miles in Iraqi. A single there for number four, Ethan Kessler. Kessler up for Eastland. Number four, Ethan Kessler. an athlete down the field. Time out. And we're back here, and it's going to be a couple gal going Ottens. And coming in for Ottens is Cam Reyes. Huber, bad for Eastland. 
Got a runner at first. And it's Huber from Eastland. And it's gonna be a courtesy runner for the catcher. Number two, Hunter Miller. Number two, Hunter Miller is up to bat. Kessler will score for the Cougars. Number one, Trevor Jansen. Number one, Trevor Jansen. And we're going to have a timeout. <laughs> 